Hi, it's Brad with Craft Stick Crafts. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I've had a couple little comments from a gentleman who said my videos may not be as professional as they could. Uh, you know, no studio, proper lighting and such. You know what? I took a little bit of offense. You might hear a little bit of offense uh, still in my voice. But you know what? The, the best place to do a wood craft from home is from home. I mean, we are here. I am, you know, not a big studio deal. But, you know, this is about craft wood. And craft woods can be found anywhere. And, you know, if I'm only showing you from a studio perspective where to find craft woods from your Hobby Lobby, Ben, Michael, Joanne, wherever they're coming from, Midwest products or Ravel Woods, you know, then, then you've got to look at the stores only. But you know what? We're collecting up a little bit of craft wood from everywhere. Uh, these obviously are branches from the neighbor's lot, which I did approve. So when I need some wood, whether it to be for bending or whatever I'm doing, you know, one of the best places I've found to find my wood is my own backyard, so to speak. And here's a little, little pencil I found, and it's been outside for a long time, and the glue delaminated, and so we just took it, took it apart. So that might be, you know, interesting to look at. So I, I might bend that up in some whoops, shape or form. There's the old lead. <clears throat> so anyhow, if you're looking at wood, excuse me, and uh, you're you know in your craft wood pile, there's all sorts of different woods available. <clears throat> this is a OSB. This all this is, it's a, is sawdust and glue. That's not a very good uh, example of anything to bend or to build with. But this one is uh, similar. This is a high density uh, board where it is uh, just really just sawdust. I mean, it's so fine. And then they've placed a veneer, uh, a, a printed, printing press printed veneer um, image on top of it to make it look like wood and that is actually from a, a cabinet um, but kind of the advantage of this one is we can bend it and shape it until it breaks so we have some other good pieces of wood here <clears throat> uh, let's see this is called a, this is a, a prime spruce so we might, you know, cut that into some shape of something. Some of these were, excuse me, some of these were just pallets that I, you know, had on job sites that I dismantled and cut up. Here's one you might appreciate. Obviously, you see what that is. And this is an oak veneer. But once again, the inside is just sawdust and glue. So this is from a remodel project. And, um, you know, it looks like it's a solid wood, but really it's just a manufactured product. Another example of it here. But what we might do, let's say, here's a nice little piece. Instead of hitting the firewood, the firebox, I might clean this up. And this is plywood. This is a high density, um, uh, this is like a cabinet grade plywood because it has more plies than a normal plywood. I don't quite see a normal, I don't have an example of that sticking out. But anyhow, what I would do with this, I'll clean it up, straighten it up, and I might uh, attach some, some tongue depressors around the perimeter and make one of our uh, castles with that. 
So, you know, okay, yeah, it's not very professional. However, this is where craft wood comes from. You know, it comes from your backyard. It comes from the local cabinet shop. It comes from wherever, anywhere you can find wood. Uh, here is an example down here. What we're going to do, excuse me for a second. One of our DVDs is about barn stables, fencing, and wagons. But uh, this wood here is a cedar, and cedar is a nice board to cut and split. So much of our products, projects, I'm building up some material inventory. I better stop or I'll cut my fingers for a class I'm having. Okay. So this wood here, like I said, is cedar. And this was old fencing. Like super old, 60 year old pieces of cedar fencing that you'd find in an old um, farm type situation. So what we're going to do with these, these become the small miniature rails for our fence um, in small scale. So these would be the fence rails and for building part of our barn. But like I said, this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is cedar, and it does take a little bit of coordination, maybe not that one. If you want to split some railings for your project, potentially, you know, they might not have cedar rails, but you can get cedar at the store and split it. It splits pretty good. So anyhow, um, you know, I kind of over the comment that the guy made about, you know, my videos. I'm here, the wood's here, most of our projects are from around the house, wood from around the house, and a lot from the craft stores too. But we're trying to promote this craft in a way that lots of people can do it. YouTube is going to say, your video is awfully shaky. So anyhow, whoops, <clears throat> cut myself on YouTube. There we go. Um, that's it. Uh, that's all I had. I probably could have done a little more professional. However, this is uh, live from my house. So I appreciate your time. And uh, I'll show you some more tips and tricks from the inside inside shop. Thanks. Bye.